the Vikings who settled in Iceland were primarily driven by a desire for new land and resources. Norway, their homeland, was becoming increasingly crowded, and many Viking chieftains saw the opportunity to acquire land and wealth in Iceland. Additionally, the harsh political climate in Norway, including ongoing conflicts and power struggles, may have motivated some Vikings to seek new opportunities in Iceland. Challenges of Settlement The settlement of Iceland was not without its challenges. The Vikings who arrived in Iceland encountered a harsh and unforgiving environment, with long, dark winters and a short growing season. They also had to contend with natural disasters such as volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, which could destroy their farms and homes. Despite these challenges, the Vikings persevered, adapting to their new environment and developing unique farming techniques to survive. The settlement of Iceland by Vikings had a lasting impact on the country's culture, society, and political system. The Vikings who settled in Iceland brought with them their language, customs, and beliefs, which helped shape the unique Icelandic culture that exists today. They also established a unique political system, which included the Althing, an assembly where Viking chieftains gathered to make laws and resolve disputes. This system of government helped establish Iceland as a democratic nation and remains a source of national pride to this day. The Viking Age is known for its bold and adventurous explorers who traveled far and wide in search of new lands to settle. One such group of explorers was the Vikings who settled in Iceland in the late 9th century. Through archaeological discoveries and insights, we can gain a better understanding of their journey and the impact they had on the island. The first recorded Viking to discover Iceland was Nadod, a Norwegian Viking who was blown off course while sailing from Norway to the Faroe Islands. He spotted the distant coastline of Iceland and named it Snland, Snowland, due to its snow-capped mountains. Other Vikings followed, including the legendary figure of Ingolfur Arnarson, who is considered the first permanent settler of Iceland. Archaeological discoveries have shed light on the Viking settlement of Iceland. One of the most significant findings was the discovery of the remains of a Viking longhouse at Stong, which was destroyed by the eruption of the Hekla volcano in 1104. The well preserved ruins provided insight into Viking architecture and way of life, including their use of turf and wood to construct their homes. Other discoveries, such as the remains of Viking ships and Viking era artifacts, have helped archaeologists piece together a more comprehensive picture of the Viking settlement of Iceland. Through the archaeological record, we can gain insights into Viking society and way of life. For example, the discovery of burial sites has provided insight into Viking funerary practices and beliefs, including their use of grave goods and burial mounds. The remains of Viking Age farms and homes have also given us an idea of their agricultural practices and domestic life, including their use of animal husbandry and their reliance on fishing and hunting. Origins of Viking Religion The Viking religion, also known as Norse paganism, had its origins in the pre-Christian era of Northern Europe. It was based on a pantheon of gods and goddesses, including Odin, Thor, and Freya, who were believed to control various aspects of the natural world, such as thunder, fertility, and war. The religion also included the concept of Valhalla, a warrior's paradise where fallen warriors were believed to go after death. The Vikings who settled in Iceland brought their religious beliefs and practices with them, adapting them to their new environment. They built temples, called Hof, where they could worship their gods and goddesses, and made offerings to them in the form of food, drink, and valuables. They also held festivals, such as the Winter Solstice Festival of Yule, and made sacrifices to their gods and goddesses. The Vikings also believed in the concept of fate, which they believed was controlled by the Norns, or fates, who weaved the threads of destiny for each individual. This belief in fate influenced many aspects of Viking life, including their attitude towards death and their willingness to take risks in battle. The legacy of Viking religion in Iceland can still be seen today in various forms. Many place names in Iceland, such as Thorsmork and Vatnajökull, are named after the gods and goddesses of the Viking pantheon. The Icelandic calendar also includes several holidays that have their roots in Viking religion, such as the summer solstice festival of Jónsi. In Viking Age Iceland, women had a relatively high social status compared to other societies of the time. They could own and inherit property, divorce their husbands, and hold positions of power in the community, such as chieftainesses. Women were also involved in trade and commerce, both locally and internationally, and were often responsible for managing the family's finances. Family life was a crucial aspect of Viking Age Iceland, 
and women played a central role in maintaining the household and raising children. Women were responsible for cooking, cleaning, and caring for the sick and elderly, as well as educating their children in the traditions and customs of the community. Women also had a significant role in matchmaking and arranging marriages, which were often used to strengthen alliances between families. Religion was an essential aspect of Viking Age Iceland, and women played a significant role in religious rituals and practices. They participated in worship and offerings to the gods and goddesses of the Viking pantheon, and some women were also involved in the practice of satyr, a type of magic that was used for divination and healing. The contributions of women to Viking Age Iceland can still be seen today in various forms. Many place names in Iceland, such as Herfnafloki, are named after women, and there are several stories and sagas that feature strong female characters. Women also played a significant role in the economy of Viking Age Iceland, particularly in trade and commerce, and their contributions helped to shape the development of the society. Agriculture Agriculture was an essential aspect of Viking Age farming in Iceland. The settlers brought with them a range of crops, including barley, wheat, oats, and rye, which were grown in small plots of land called tun. These plots were usually located near the homestead and were tended by the family members. Farming was a difficult task in Iceland due to the harsh climate, limited arable land, and the absence of trees for building and fuel. The Vikings used several techniques to make the most of the limited farmland in Iceland. One of these was called plowing and sowing, where the soil was turned over using a primitive plow and then sown with seed. Another technique was crop rotation, where the fields were left fallow for a period to replenish the soil's nutrients. Additionally, the Vikings used manure as a natural fertilizer, which helped to increase the yield of crops. Animal husbandry was also an essential aspect of Viking Age farming in Iceland. The settlers brought with them a range of livestock, including cattle, sheep, goats, horses, and pigs, which were kept on small farms near the homestead. Livestock provided meat, milk, wool, and other materials that were used for clothing, blankets, and bedding.